Hello viewers at home. Welcome to another edition on Moose's Mathematics channel. Today's video is involving how we can find the mean, median and mode of grouped data. So we have a question before us. From this data, we can see that this is showing that these are the grades of pupils. And this is showing that 5 pupils scored within the range of 30 to 39. 7 pupils scored within the range of 40 to 49 11 pupils scored within the range of 50 to 59 13 pupils scored within the range of 60 to 69 6 pupils scored within the range of 70 to 79 and 2 pupils scored within the range of 80 to 89 So, starting with the first question, how do we find the mean of this group data? The mean of a group data from the formula is giving us the mean is equal to the summation fx divided by the sum of f. Now, at this junction, we've been given the frequency, but we need to get the x values. We need to get the x values before we can proceed. And how do we get the x values? We simply add up the grades and divide by 2. That gives us the, all the x values that we'll be needing. Then create another column for fx. Then get the sum, sum of the frequency and divide. That gives us the mean. That's quite easy. Now, let's get the values of x. 30 plus 39 is 69 divided by 2. That will give us, so we can say 69 divided by 2. That gives us 34.5. On to the next one. 40 plus 49, that's 89 divided by 2. That gives us 44.5. At this junction, we found the pattern. Now, instead of us wasting time adding and dividing by 2, that's quite a waste of time. So what we need to do is, we can observe from here that this is increasing by 10. So which means, the following one will be plus 10 from here will give us 54.5. Plus 10 will give us 64.5. Plus 10 is, will give us 74.5. Plus 10 will give us 84.5. We've gotten the x values. Now let's work out the fx. Let's work out fx. And what is fx? f times x means fx. So multiply the frequency and x from here. 34.5 times 5. 34.5 times 5. This gives us 172.5. Multiply the next one. 7 times 44.5. This gives us... 311.5 multiply the next one 11 times 54.5 this gives us 599.5 multiply the next one 13 times 64.5 this will give us 838.5 multiply the next one 6 times um, 74.5 this gives us 447 multiply the next one 2 times uh, 84.5 this gives us 169 we've gotten fx so let's get the sum of fx what is the sum of fx and what is the sum of the frequency let's get with the frequency 5 plus 7 is 12 12 plus 11 is 23 so that would be 23 plus 13 then 6 plus 2 is 8 that would be 23 plus 13 plus 8 what does it give 23 plus 13 plus 8. That gives us um, 44. So the total of the frequency is 44. Let's get the total of fx. 172.5 plus uh, 311.5 uh, plus 599.5 plus 838.5 plus uh, 447 plus 169. This gives us 2000 538. So we've gotten the sum of fx. Let's plug it into the formula. So we have 2538 divided by the sum of the frequencies 44. So if I divide this, the mean will be approximately to two decimal places. So I say divided by 44. The mean to two decimal places will be approximately 57.68. That is the mean. Okay, we found the mean. So let's proceed with the median. So let me take this off. So what's the median? 
uh, the median is simply from the formula. The median of group data is given as uh, the lower class of the median plus open bracket the frequency divided by two minus the cumulative frequency before the median class multiplied by the class size divided by the frequency of the median. Okay, so how do we get these values? Now, first of all, let's work out the cumulative frequency. That's the first step. Okay, the cumulative frequency will be what's the first digit of the frequency here? That's 5. Now, 5 plus 7 is 12. Now, 12 plus 11, this is how you get cumulative frequency. Write the first digit and add it with the following one of your frequency. Now, 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 11 is 23. 23 plus 13 will give us 36. 36 plus 6 will give us 42. 42 plus 2 will give us 44. What you're having here must correspond with the total of your frequency, otherwise you've made a mistake. So what else do we need? We need um, the lower class. We need to get the word, the lower class. So let's get the lower class. So to get the lower class now, you will need to subtract 0 0.5 from here and add 0 0.5 here. So subtracting 0 0.5 from here, we have 29.5. If we add 0 0.5, we have 39.5. Uh, subtract 0 0.5, we have 39.5, mm, 49.5, uh, 49.5. Just subtract and add, subtract and add, that's how you'll be going. Uh, 59.5, uh, 59.5, uh, 69.5. Um, 69.5, uh, 79.5, uh, 79.5, and uh, 89.5. Okay, now, how do we get the median class? To get the median class, you take the frequency because median is interested in the middle. So let's get the, take the frequency, that's the total of the frequency is 44, and let's divide it by 2. This gives us 22. That is to say, let's know where this 22 will fall under so that we can get the median class, so that we can solve this. So let's find out. Remember that when you are adding, you must not have a total that is less than 22, and it must not be too greater than 22. What I mean by that is, so let's sum. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 is still less than 22. Let's add again. Uh, 12 plus 11 is 23. 23 has passed 22 a little. If I try to add 13 to that 23, that's already 36. So that's, I'm already doing nonsense. So what I just need to do is 5 plus 7 is 12, and 12 plus 11 is what? 23. So once it has got to 23, I need to stop. So which means that 22 should fall under this class. This is where my median class is. So that 22 should fall under this class. Yes. So if it falls under this class, now what will be my lower class? Now, lower class of the median will be, this is the higher class, 59.5. Lower class is 49.5. So automatically, now frequency of the median class is 11. And cumulative frequency before the median class, this is the cumulative frequency before this median class, that's 12. So I've gotten all my values. So I will then plug it into this formula and solve. So what is the lower class of the median? That's 49.5. So I say 49.5 plus uh, open bracket frequency divided by 2 is already 22. That's 44 divided by 2, that's 22. Uh, minus cumulative frequency before the median class is 12. Multiplied by the class size. How do we get class size? To get the class size, this C means class size. You subtract, this is... Uh, the lower class of my median, and this is the higher class. Let's subtract this both. It gives 10. So if I say 59.5 minus 49.5, it gives me 10. So divided by uh, frequency of the median class is 11. So we then solve, leaving me with um, 49.5 plus 22 minus 12 will give me um, 10. 22 minus 12 is 10. So I will divide 10 by 11 and multiply by 10. Let me, let me write it here so you can get what I'm saying. 22 minus 12 is 10 over 11 multiplied by 10. Now, then I will then have, so the median, the median will be equals 
49.5 plus what? 10 divided by 11 times 10. 10 divided by 11 mm, times 10. This will give me um, 9.09 .09 repeating. So if I add 49.5 to it, my median will be, uh, if I say plus 49.5, my median will be approximately to two decimal places. My median will be to two decimal places. My median will be 58.59. Um, this is my median. So 49.5 plus 10 divided by 11 times 10. If I add it up to this, it gives me 58.59 um, to two decimal places. This is my media. Okay, how do we find mode? Let's calculate the mode. To get the mode, there is a formula we use for mode. So how do we get mode? Uh, mode is simply um, the lower class plus open brackets uh, data 1 over data 1 plus data 2 multiplied by the class size. So what is the mode from here? Remember the mode is the highest frequency. So what's the highest frequency? That's 13. So this is where my mode will fall under. My mode will fall under here. Okay? So my mode will fall under here. And remember that my lower class of my mode is 59.5. The higher class is 69.5. Don't make that mistake. Now, now what do I need next? Uh, I need data 1 and data 2. I already know my class size. If I subtract the higher, um, the, the, the higher class of my mode from the lower class, it gives me 10. Still 10. So how do I get data 1? Subtract your mode from the frequency before this is how you get your data one. Subtract your mode, your mode frequency from the frequency before it. That's how to get data one. And subtract your mode frequency from the frequency after it. That's how to get data two. So data one will be now fixing the values. My lower class of my mode is what 59.5 um, mm -hmm, plus open brackets. Data one will be 13 minus 11. This will give me what? 2 over what? Uh, data 1 is still 2 plus data 2 will be 13 minus 6, 7, close bracket. Class size is 10. Subtracting these values, that's 10. Okay, so we then have um, 59.5 plus uh, 2 plus 7 is 9. 2 divided by 9 times 10. 2 divided by 9 multiplied by 10. This will give me 2.2 repeating. So if I add this up, uh, approximately to two decimal places, the mode will be uh, the mode will be to two decimal places, the mode will be 61.72. That is the mode. So the mode of this data is 61.72 to two decimal places. So I hope this video was really helpful to you. If it was, smash the subscribe button, leave a like on this video and share this video. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for viewing. Bye.